So congrats, congrats to each fucking AQL season three champ. Cheers, mate. Uh, so I guess first question, I mean, how, how do you feel? Oh, I've first stand that many times in a final, so it's not, it's not as good as you'd imagine. That's a no, hat trick, is it? Is that a, the old hat trick, or is that only two in a row? Uh, three in a row, I think. You got the old hat trick. I didn't play in one of them, so if you don't count that, I think it's. Oh, three in a row, yeah. that's like a hat trick when you get uh, twenty <laughs> innings. It, it just doesn't fucking count, mate. Nah. <laughs> uh, how'd you feel like during the set? Um... Um, yeah, happy loss was the I was bed. struggling to hear a couple of sound cues I just misheard, which really fucked me over. Um, but uh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not super happy with how I'm playing at the moment. I still feel a bit uncomfortable in some situations, and obviously the way Dan plays, he's just relentless with the pushes. So um, I was just really focusing on trying to punish his pushes, and majority of the time that was working, um, where I could just run away with a lead at the end there um, on most maps. So yeah. I felt like, uh, especially on the last map, when you had, like, the two frag lead, and as soon as you kind of, like, you just had enough to defend yourself with, like, um, low ground position and rockets, and then I think both times where he pushed, like, around that, like, five, six minute mark, and he just died to two rockets, and then that, that's just it. You just, like, reset, and then uh, you get another item, so you could definitely see that that defensive play was, was working. Yeah, I mean, Dan usually likes to do those sort of plays, but he was doing them even more so... Um in this series so i was just really on the lookout for that like i didn't want to jump to mega it was another situation because i knew he just wanted to go for a shot and he couldn't help himself so i'm um, just punishing him on with the rockets and stuff like that and i'm not a rocky heavy rocky rocket heavy player per se i do like to duke it out with the the lg and rail but i mean that's just how i had to play versus him because it was it was just working a treat yeah. Yeah, I think that if, even if you're not a rocket player, like the spam is a little bit different to the actual combat fights. Like if you, even if you're yeah, choosing, right. if you're choosing not to, you know, use that as your attacking weapon or in a fight when you know it's a bit even, but that, you still need to use the rockets when it's attacking hard because it's just the best gun. So I think that's what I noticed in the games then, especially one moment on uh, it was uh, Panath when he attacked from Ali, um, and you just buried him. Uh, I think that's where the, yep. the rockets were quite strong and it just it was, it was good because when you're hitting like that, there's just well the opponent can't push. And he yeah, I was hitting pretty good rockets. So. It definitely, yeah. And I guess, um, so now coming into Kawaii John, how are you kind of feeling with like your performance, like biggest threats, or like are you just kind of interested to play? Uh, well, or... this might it might be my last Quake tournament, so I'm not really putting too much pressure on myself. I'm just mainly there, gonna have fun, um, try to do my best, but I'll see what happens. There's a lot of guys that will beat me, so. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure. Like, obviously, with my play, you know, I know, I know it's probably not up to par to beat some of the guys there. So, but I'll try my best. Yeah. But is it a bit of like a John Farnham, like the last, the last concert? The last, last, just, last, yeah. I think I've said that before. So, <laughs> don't hold me to it. But yeah, it, it, it may well be. I think in the sense like that, if you're going there, you know, and you're not under pressure, then you actually probably end up doing better because especially in my experience as well, when you set high expectations for yourself, that's when you're more likely to fail. When you just go there and you say, I'm just going to have fun playing Quake, that's when you're going to play better, I think. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that as well. And it's like, uh, obviously with the, what, Razy and whatnot coming, Dave coming. So these guys are obviously going to be a step above uh, most of the guys there. So it's going to be tough. Um, it'd, be, it'd be good if I could take a map or two off some of the guys, but yeah. I'm not too concerned about my performance at LAN. Well, I guess we will soon see. I guess it's going to be like... But I'll be, I'm taking you down, Dave. I forgot to mention, <laughs> I'm taking you down. Man, I've seen you've been, like, you've been uh, sneaking my streams all the time, so uh, you've basically got the Excel spreadsheet. Of, <laughs> well, my best man. <laughs> Crunching the playing. numbers, mate. <laughs> Well, it should be good. Yeah, two weeks time. So, yeah, um, two weeks to catch up. Yeah. Watch out. You need the um, time tra uh, time travel chamber from uh, the, the hyperbolic <laughs> time chamber. Yeah, <laughs> seven years uh, back. If you've got, if anyone in chat's got one, hit me up. Yeah. Fuck, you know. yeah. Then you'll be good to go. Got the Zenzu beans. Yeah. <laughs> Super science stage. <laughs> 
Uh, I think that's about it, is it, Rob? We're wrapping up. Yep, no yeah. worries. Uh, so, Steve is the champion of the tournament, and we look forward to two weeks' uh, time when we've got the Karachi Gone Land. That'll be on the same channel on Twitch, will it not? Sure. So, uh, all the viewers out there, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you in two weeks for LAN. <laughs> is that? Peace, boys. Indeed. Bye bye, everyone. See you in uh, two weeks. All right, nice. See you later. Almost out. See you, boys.